Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Hyundai Tucson. Hyundai Tucson can be front-wheel or all-wheel drive. In the second case, the rear axle is electronically connected using an electromagnetic clutch. The four-cylinder gasoline engines and the diesel engine before restyling rely on a mechanical five-speed gearbox and after, after 2006 a diesel engine has a six-speed gearbox. The six-cylinder gasoline engine is standard equipped with a four-speed automatic transmission and for any other engine the automatic transmission was an option. There are no special tricks in the design, everything is done very simply and logically, but with the Tucson simplicity and reliability do not always go hand in hand, and certain troubles on the part of the transmission mechanics are quite possible. Even with front-wheel drive versions with runs of more than 100,000, CV joints may fail. Basically, the right one fails and on cars after restyling, the problem manifested itself very, very early. Fortunately, the cause of this annoying malfunction was found. The factory hinge was deprived of grease. Experienced Tucson owners recommended changing their lubricant in it at the same time as changing the oil in the automatic transmission approximately every 40-60 thousand kilometers. Confusion is caused by catalogs where the types of CV joints are mixed up, and it is often not possible to choose the right model by VIN. Before buying new parts, it remains only to count the number of splines on the drives. By the way, the splines of the drive shafts themselves can give an unpleasant surprise. They corrode, which sometimes leads to twisting of the connections. Watch for streaks of rust at the joints and apply grease to the joints when assembling. Four-wheel drive vehicles may have significantly more breakdowns. The resource of the drive shaft cross pieces usually doesn't exceed 120 150,000 km, then the increase in vibration will force them to repair it. The intermediate bearing rubber lasts a little longer. Even in cars with a purely urban operation, the carbon shaft will require maintenance with runs of about 200,000. On early copies, the crosses may be with grease fittings, but there is no carbon maintenance procedure in the regulations, and not everyone can grasp to lubricate the joints. Meanwhile, for off-road vehicles, this operation is very desirable. The rear gearbox breather becomes muddy even in urban use. Well, then the oil seals begin to sweat and the oil level goes away. With runs for 250,000, it is better to replace the oil seals in any case. Besides the shaft surface, in the area of the oil seals operation, at high runs is often worn out. At the slightest sign of fogging, you need to monitor the oil level especially carefully. If there is a lack of it, the gearbox breaks down instantly. Rear CV joints and shaft are quite reliable, but the clutches require at least high-quality maintenance. Despite the simplicity of the design, an electromagnet with a friction clutch, there are also those elements that wear out over time. Clutchware products, clutch products gradually destroy the clutch shrink, shank bearing and oil seals, as a result of which their life can be very short. And on older machines, even with relatively modest mileage, mileage of 60-80 thousand kilometers, the bearing will have a large backlash. This in turn leads to mechanical damage to the drive electromagnet and ingress of moisture finishes both magnet itself and its electrical wiring. If the magnet is faulty, assembly and disassembly of the coupling becomes extremely difficult and the entire coupling will have to be replaced. So do not bring the system to failure, repair it on time. In an angular gearbox you only have to control the oil level and sometimes change it. The gearbox design turned out to be very successful. 5-speed manual gearboxes are very reliable. At least up to runs of 180 to 150,000 km, the gearbox mechanics itself behaves very well. Shafts and bearings with such runs serve flawlessly and only a deterioration in the quality of the synchronizers can force them to repair. The gear shift attachment and drive mechanism may fail, but this is not dangerous. The switching mechanism is simply unscrewed, so here you only need to tighten the, fa the fastening bolt sometimes and the linkage of the mechani mechanism will have to be repaired after 100-150 thousand mileage. From time to time the low quality of the hydraulic clutch mechanism, which doesn't tolerate frost and dubs, raises criticism after which it squeezes out its oil seal. The clutch resource with the 2 liter engine is quite large. For accurate drivers during urban operation of 200,000 it serves properly. But do not forget to change the brake fluid in the hydraulic drive, a lot depends on its condition. Automatic transmission of the W4A42F4A42 series have proven to be extremely reliable units even on crossovers. There are a few problems with them. The thrust bearing of the planetary gear over drive falls apart very rarely, mainly with motors with a volume of 2.7 liters. But the consequences for the automatic transmission are usually fatal. The products of destruction quickly finish off the box. 
All other breakdowns occur only in cases of a serious emission of the oil level due to leaks of the oil seal of the gas turbine engine or very strong overheating. The box is very sensitive to temperature, so the cooling system must be monitored in both directions. The guarantee of the enviable longevity of the automatic transmission is a successful cooling system and a regular replacement filter of the box. With the routing oil change every 60,000 km, the resource of the main well body solenoids is up to 200,000 km, but even replacing them will not seem difficult. Sometimes it may be necessary to wash the well body, more often for active drivers who intensively wear out the blocking lining of the gas turbine engine. With good service and a fairly accurate driving style, the gearbox mechanic can withstand both 300 and 400,000 km. It is only important to change the oil on time and if it darkens quickly, repair gas turbine. The only serious drawback is the high fuel consumption. In the urban cycle, even a 2-liter engine with automatic transmission consumes over 15 liters of fuel, and with a 2.7-liter engine, the consumption of a relatively small car exceeds 18 and sometimes even 20 liters, which seems already unreasonable. But it is worth mentioning one more feature of the box on Tucson. In a number of configurations, the transfer of the lever according to the DNR position doesn't require either pressing the brake or pressing the lever button. With the button pressed, the box can be transferred on the go even to the parking lot. There is simply no protection in the form of a switching lock. In this case, the automatic transmission can be seriously damaged. The main engines of Tucson are the 2-liter Beta 2 family of the J4GC series and the 2.7-liter V6 on the Delta 2 family of the G6BA series. These motors are quite simple, conservative and well-made. Under the condition of normal operation of the attachments, they have a good resource and in extreme cases they are quite maintainable. The common difficulties of all gasoline engines are, first of all, insufficient reliability of the control system, which is usually expressed in failures, suboptimal operation in power limitation modes and difficulties in diagnostics by the scanner. The system doesn't recognize even the simplest troubles such as injector and spark plug failures, as a result of which it is highly discouraged to drive in the presence of ignition interruptions. The cooling system isn't perfect either. In it, you need to monitor the condition of the radiator in a number of pipes. Radiators already after 5 to 6 years strongly rot from below. Engine oil leaks occur due to a very simple ventilation system and not very high quality rubber products. In the power system, a small problem can be a fuel pump with a simple mesh filter in the tank. When operating in large cities with good gas stations, nothing bad can be expected from it, but in the outback, the grid will have to be changed often. If you forget about this mesh, then you will have to change the pump. In addition, the corrosive fuel tank with its deposits forces the pump to operate to the brink of possibilities. The motor suspension system is simple and cheap, but not very effective, so there can be a lot of vibrations that are harmful to any motor. The 2-liter G4GC engine is most common. Its power is quite sufficient, especially when paired with a manual gearbox, and the maintenance costs are small. The design is very conservative, cast iron block, simple distributed injection, simple inlet and outlet, timing belt drive. In the timing belt, a short chain is also used, the tension mechanism of which is used here as a phase regulator. It is installed between the exhaust and intake camshafts, and depending on the direction of tension, the intake camshaft either lags or ahead of the exhaust. The main disadvantage of the motor is the small resource of the timing units. It is better to change the kit every 50,000 km, which is noticeably less than that of other modern designs. The use of high-quality analogs in the timing drive even slightly increases the possible resource in comparison with the original kit, but doesn't give guarantees. So it's better to change parts more often, since the operation is cheap and the belt with rollers cost a penny. The resource of the piston group, if you remember the timing features, do not start up malfunctions of the control system and do not pour low viscosity oils after runs of 150 to 100,000 km, will be more than 300,000, and maybe much more. Well, if the engine still breaks down, its repair is very budgetary, a little more expensive than on Zhigli. The 2.7 liter G6BA V6 engine is a relatively of the better inline force. Here in the cylinder head there is also a characteristic small chain, but without the phase regulator. The timing drive is also made with a belt, which is noticeably th thicker and more reliable here. But do not count on its huge resource. Standard 60,000 is it will certainly serve, but more is a question. In addition, much depends on the rollers with oil seals. The resource of this motor is noticeably higher, but there are also weakness weaknesses in the design. 
In the timing belt, a not very successful hydraulic tensioner is used, so you need to be careful in winter. The intake manifold flaps sometimes fall out and fall under the valves. Catalyst and exhaust manifold fail over time, and the second lambda sensor is located after the corrugation, and if it shrinks, then it is better not to delay replacement. Well, the most obvious drawback is a very high fuel consumption, which increases if you do not monitor the condition of the candles, the fuel pump, suction and intake. Maintaining a V6 engine is somewhat more difficult and more expensive. It has more cylinders, more wheels, spark plugs, more difficult intake, more difficult to perform a number of works, and even a simple replacement of the rear row spark plugs will require removing the intake. Of the advantages, we note a huge resource with normal maintenance. On a Sonata, there are copies with runs over 500,000 in good condition. In addition, 170 horsepower on a relatively light car, they give excellent dynamics, especially on the track. Diesel engines are not common and unfortunately there are quite a few complaints about them. The Tucson has already a well-developed version of the D4EA engine and its main problems are familiar with from operation on commercial vehicles. The fuel equipment is moderately reliable, but the picture is spoiled by the complex design of the filter heating and the unsuccessful sealing of the injectors. The EGR system gets very dirty, literally clogging the intake manifold. The control unit suffers from frequent failures and the timing belt resource is as small as that of the inline gasoline engines. The load on it is noticeably higher and the valve's diesel engine bend at the slightest jump of the belt. The most unpleasant thing that can be found on these diesels is the seizure of the liners on the versions with a high degree of boost. There can be two reasons, either a clogged oil receiver, which happens with a rare oil change or constant operation at low speeds. Obviously, the use of low viscosity oils is simply unacceptable here, and in the summer SAE50 or even SAE60 oils are recommended. You need to measure the oil pressure regularly, and at the first sign of the drop in pressure, you will have to change the liners. On this, information about the problems of Hyundai Tucson is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.